What's up everybody, this is Russian Technology here and today in this video I would be reviewing you the AOS IP ROM for the Google Nexus 5. So if you are subscribed to my channel you will be seeing that I just reviewed this ROM a few days ago. But this is a new updated version and this ROM just got an update. This is the 9.1 version. So the 9.1 version just got a lot of improvements and a new feature. Now you get a new feature called floating window. So this is one of the best feature available. So I love this feature and as you can see you can just multitask while uh, yeah you, as you can see i can just upgrade both the things at the same time and this is pretty helpful for some people like who watch youtube videos you can just multitask uh, while watching videos which is amazing let's take a look at the martin garrix thing okay let's play uh, the song animals so this is an example so as you can see, the uh, play is on, the music play is on, and now I can multitask. I can multitask at the same time while the song is on, and I can operate both the things I want. As you can see, that's pretty nice, and I love this feature. And uh, those who are watching this for the first time, we're going to introduce all the features of this ROM. You get an option called Old's Nest where you have a lot of features of status bar from which you can customize these things. You have buttons from which you can customize these things. You have navigation from which you can just tap in the ring and you can just customize these buttons. Then on these buttons, you have this clear button on the recents option and you have volume to wake option as you can see it just break the device and after this update as you can see that the things are uh, rounded as you can see those things the borders are rounded which looks pretty nice and yeah I have no problems with that sorry for that shakiness on the camera then you have notification drawer to customize these things you have display to customize the this is the stock settings uh, you would be getting here but a new feature called ambient display then you have sound and notification here with interruptions and advanced settings. Then you have lock screen. If you can just customize these things, you can app, add app shortcuts and weather thing. Then you have interface from which you can have slim recent. This is the normal recent and this is the slim recent, which looks pretty nice. You have gesture anywhere feature, so from which uh, it will slide up and you can add any gesture. Before using this, just don't forget to add or remove gesture. You have app bar, which would be coming over here. You would be getting a lot of applications in. Then, uh, last but not least, this is the shaded setting. So, if you have the stock kernel installed with this, you would be getting an uh, option called shaded settings. So, uh, this the kernel with this form would be shared. So, this is uh, the app to control that. So, yeah, this is it. And uh, another uh, feature is head some notification. You can just customize or on or off that. Then you have expandable desktop, which is an amazing feature. You can just remove this navigation bar and the status bar if you want. Then you have theme entry, which is the most wanted feature for every ROM, and here it is on this ROM too. So yeah, this was the uh, AOS IP ROM RC 9.1 review. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please give a big thumbs up. If you have more videos like this, just don't forget to hit the subscribe button and comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video.